Good morning out there. Um, let's see, at least it is still here. It's actually moving on to good afternoon out there in the East Coast. And like I always say, God only knows what it is. I, I you know, I need to get a little time ticker here for all my foreign country friends because you guys are always way ahead of me. Um, in many ways, <laughs> however. Anyway, um, it's just me, Hetty slash Heather, and you can find me on, and this one's more based to my Twitter account for Alive in Me, and it will always go to all my Twitter accounts that um, I do have, which also um, is at Epilepsy Cures, because God knows that he has worked wonders through my epilepsy, and also um, one that I've opened with um, a great friend of mine from afar. We actually haven't ever met, but we talk, and she's gone through some amazing stuff, but through Jesus, just as I, um, has just, you know, been growing and growing and closer to the Lord and knows that that's how you get better. And, you know, there's always other ways in addition to at times that we do reach for. And, you know, I applaud that as well. Um, that's exactly why that he creates doctors. Um, however, you know, he is just amazing. <laughs> I will sit here and say when it comes to um, actually making you, yourself, better. Um, I mean, for me to be on all the medications that I'm on and not sitting here bah, crying or sitting here, you know, punching at you, um, you know, then he, that that's just him. Because otherwise, in normality, I would be laying about doing pretty much nothing, or crying, or wanting to start a fist fight, because <laughs> medications for epilepsy are just mean. Beside that point, you know, um, it's kind of amazing, you know, what forgiveness does. <laughs> and it sounds like, oh gosh, Heather, don't get into this. Um, you know, I've got this going on or that going on. Um, my first, my first realization of what forgiveness does do, not just, you know, you know, gosh, because it's supposed to be what you do, um, biblically, but actually for your heart, and I can't even just say for your heart, but, you know, for me, God proved that it's actually better for my health, because the moment I forgave my ex for beating me, and that was, gosh, back in 2006, things just began to change. Not loud noise. Sorry. Um, but um, not only for the better of um, our, you know, ability to speak <laughs> and have a, you know, friendship, a, you know, ability not to, you know, it has so much tension, but the ability to, my seizures actually, believe it or not, as it, you hear so many stories of believe it or not, my seizures still, you know, having so much activity, but had I not, and you know, if I still hadn't today, my seizures would just be still flying even higher. That's God's given, you know, ability to show me that forgiveness is just an amazing way to better, number one, your health, yes, but his way of showing that that's what you're supposed to do. And, you know, and that won't be my first and last, you know, because, you know, I love you know, I'm a, I'm a lover of people. I love people. And there's there's not many people <laughs> I come across that, you know, I butt heads with because I'm just that type of person. Um, family is hard. 
you know, especially if someone in your family is going through some, some strife and you give it your all, you know, especially if you've gone something, you know, like something through something similar and you give it your all to work and work and work and help and help and help. But they're not, they're not, not even just, not even, I'm talking biblically, I'm talking just, you know, it, psychiatrically or psychology or just helping hand, um, but, you know, their issues of still seeking what they're, you know, seeking not for the good still gets in the way. And so... It takes, you know, hitting sometimes rock bottom in order for, you know, people to come back to you. And then when they do, after years and years and years of time of you trying to reach out, trying to give your all, try, just giving your heart, you really have to weigh and balance, okay, when is it that... I put that trust in because you have to have boundaries after time if it if it's a complicated situation where you know sometimes family's at risk and um, you know and and that's just the tough part you know that you know I personally am going through at the moment and you know I like I said have seizures and I have to definitely not get too far into being overly stressed because I have enough going on where I have my MEG test coming up and my, you know, brain surgery not too far. But I also know what God has in store. I know, you know, I mean, it's not, I'm one who's already forgiven, but at the same time, it's rebuilding the relationship. And, and that's tough, and it's, you know, because when you've been, you know, basically um, with that person, you know, tricked, you've been, you know, just, you know, maneuvered and you cheated, and you just, you don't know how to trust anymore, and so you have to rebuild it in a way that you know, okay, a little bit here, a little bit there, and then... I can begin to trust. And, I mean, that's where you got to thank Jesus because, you know, he is one you can always trust. Um, you know, it's kind of like sitting here looking at my cat today. You know, it's amazing. You know, I, I, I love my kitty cat. However, they hate each other. Cats and, and, and foreign cats at the door, they hate each other just because. Could you, I mean, I personally couldn't imagine just, like, seeing a person down the street and saying, I hate you. I mean, that's just how this cat is. And here they are, they're just, like, screeching at each other at the window, and it's like, they know nothing, absolutely zero about love. They want their attention when they want their attention, and then they walk away when they don't want it anymore. And... You know, that's just not how we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be about love. And, you know, we seek God's help for that. And they sure don't. They seek us at times. I mean, my cat, you know, jumped out the window to go, you know, race down that cat and try to bite it, I'm sure. Um, and then I hear this meowing at my door. Like, let me in. Mom. And I'm like, come back in. It's kind of like the prodigal son come back in, you know, it just flabbergasted me, I'm like, you broke my screen, this is great, okay, come back in, you know, um, there's this great, um, in a sense, quote from, um, C.S. Wonderful Lewis, that does, it's about with God's help, and he says, when you teach a child writing, you hold its hand well, it forms the letters, that is, it forms the letters because you are forming them. We love and reason because God loves and reasons and holds our hand while we do it. And that is, like, so amazingly true. I mean, he is always forming us. He is always holding our hand through everything we go through. And just know that. And just, you know, come knock on my door 
Um, I have a couple um, sessions going on today and would love to see you at live stream at Prayer to Jesus. So blessings to you all and love you all and hope to see you there. Um, 12 o'clock today and 8 o'clock tonight. That's Arizona time. Blessings.